I kept thinking that I'd done a heart icon on this channel before, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to create a flat design heart in the quickest way I know how. I just made my wife a card the other day with this exact technique. So let's hop into Illustrator and find out how to do it. The first thing I want you to know is that we're gonna use a technique not available in CS6. So this will be CC or later, as long as you have the rounding corners tool. We're gonna to start with a rectangle and I'm just gonna create sort of any sort of size rectangle. You'll kind of understand and be able to create your own here and adjust it if you want. Now I'm gonna take, after I've created this rectangle, um, I'm gonna take the direct selection tool, click and drag to select the top two points. After I've done that, I should see the corner widget on those two points. And I can just click and drag to pull those in. I'm gonna pull them in until it shows red, which means I can't pull those in anymore. It's gonna create a little half circle along the top. If you don't see the corner widget, go up to view and then down to hide or show corner widget. Um, and if you're in CS6, like I said, you're probably not gonna see it at all. Okay, so we've done that much. Now what I can do is maybe swap the fill and stroke on this, get rid of the stroke probably. I'm just gonna type in zero there. And for the fill, let's go with a red color. And actually this is a little bit too hot, right? I want a more flat design, flat color, right? So I'm gonna pull it down into here. I just double click this swatch over here and it brings up my color picker, make it a little bit more grayish and uh, that's gonna be a much more muted tone. I'm gonna rotate this guy to the left 45 degrees by holding shift and clicking and dragging with that double-ended arrow. And then I'm gonna duplicate by holding alt or option. Also hold shift to keep it in line, straight horizontal, duplicate that piece right there. Now I can actually just rotate this guy back around 45 the other way. And you see where we're going here? Click and drag, hold shift until it locks almost into place. It actually might not lock very well into place. So we're gonna wanna zoom in on this guy. That's command or control plus and minus to zoom in and out. I'm gonna click this top layer and just drag him over until I feel like he is flush with that edge. And that's gonna make this edge over here the same. So now we have a heart. And depending on the size of your rectangle, this heart's gonna look a little bit different each time. Um, I'm just gonna stick with this one. We're gonna select everything because right now it's made out of two shapes. I'm gonna grab my shape builder tool over here. Shift M is the shortcut key. And I'm just gonna click and draw through this real quick to combine all of those shapes together. So now we've got a heart that's a single uh, single element here. So what we could do is if we wanted to add back in some kind of a stroke, we could add in a line around the heart. Um, if we want, we can add in some shading on one side. So we could add another rectangle. I'm gonna make this rectangle um, a darker color. Hit okay, and then I'm gonna draw it so that it locks into the center. And my little pink guides are smart guides. Go up to view, down to smart guides to turn those on and off. Once I have this drawn, I can do the same thing with that shape builder tool. Remember shift M. I can subtract out this outside part by holding alt or option. And now I have a slice the size of half of my heart. What I can do is just turn the opacity down on that guy, maybe like 10%. Um, and that's going to give you a nice little 10 or 15%, a nice little shadow on one side of the heart. Um, I suppose the last thing that you could do is maybe grab a your pen tool, for instance, and we could click here, and then click and drag down here to create sort of a curved line. And if we try to match the curve or the arc of the outside of our heart, and then go back to that sh or the uh, selection tool, we wanna swap the fill and stroke here. We don't want this to be a fill, we actually want it to be a stroke, so I'm gonna click this swap fill and stroke button, that's shift X. I wanna bring that stroke up to maybe something like five points, change the stroke color to white, and then change the stroke settings to round cap. That's gonna round the two ends. And we could actually make this maybe more like 10 points. And that's gonna give me like a little shine a little highlight on that upper side of the heart. And if we don't want it to be full white, we can always bring that opacity down, uh, something like 75% maybe, would be a little bit softer of a highlight. All right, so that's pretty quick, simple, and easy how to make a flat design heart in Adobe Illustrator. 
I'm off to New York for Pacers Gaming. We have a game tonight. We just got second place in a tournament. We're doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd just get this quick tutorial out for you guys this morning. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. And I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.